a simple way to understand relative atomic mass, relative molecular mass and mole concept. In the previous uploaded video, I simple way to find the number of protons, electrons and neutrons of an atom we have learned about atoms, atomic number and atomic mass number, refer my YouTube channel, Easy Learning. A property closely related to an atom's mass number is its atomic mass. The most remarkable concept that Dalton S. Atomic Theory proposed, each element had a characteristic atomic mass. This theory could explain the law of constant proportion so well that scientists were prompted to measure the atomic mass of an atom. The actual mass of an atom basically depends on the numbers of protons and neutrons in its nucleus since the mass of electrons is negligible as compared to that of protons and neutrons. Calculation of the actual mass of an atom appeared inconvenient for scientists because of extremely small size and very low mass of proton and neutron. In order to solve this problem, scientists started considering the mass of some light atom as a unit, instead of kilograms or grams, and then relating masses of other atoms to it. This resulted in relative atomic mass scale and thus relative atomic masses or atomic weights. Finally, atom of carbon-12 isotope was selected and the relative masses of all other atoms were obtained by comparison with the mass of the carbon-12 atom. The relative atomic mass or atomic weight of an element is the number of times one atom of the element is heavier than one twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon-12. Thus, relative atomic mass equals mass of one atom of element upon one twelfth of the mass of one C12 atom. Atomic mass is expressed in atomic mass units, abbreviated as AMU. Atomic mass unit is defined as one twelfth of the mass of one carbon-12 atom C12 that is, the approximately the mass of one nucleon, proton or neutron. Note, according to the latest IUPAC recommendations, it is now written as U Unified Atomic Mass Unit or Dalton, named after John Dalton, and is equal to 1.660539066 times 10 to the power minus 27 kilograms. Now, the atomic masses of all elements are found with respect to this atomic mass unit, a mu, which is not the actual mass of the atom and is called relative atomic mass, older term, atomic weight. Example, relative atomic mass of chlorine-35 atom. Relative atomic mass of chlorine-35 atom equals mass of one atom of chlorine-35 upon one twelfth of the mass of one carbon-12 atom equals 35 upon 1 twelfth times 12 equals 35 upon 1 equals 35 u therefore relative atomic mass of chlorine 35 atom is 35 u that is one atom of chlorine 35 is 35 times heavier than 1 twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon 12 let us consider an example to understand this a fruit seller having a weighing balance but without any standard weights. He takes a watermelon and sees that it has a geometrical design of 12 parts and consider its mass to be 12 fruit mass units. He divides it into 12 equal pieces and now one piece is one fruit mass unit, FMU. He sells all fruits including watermelon using FMU as one FMU, two FMU, etc. which is not the actual mass of the fruits sold but is related to 1 fmu and so the mass is called relative fruit mass. 1 fmu 3 fmu Now, let us have a look at the relative atomic mass, scaled to C12, of first 20 elements of the periodic table. Here, we see that the relative atomic mass of elements are in decimals. 
The relative atomic mass of an element is defined as the average of the isotopic masses, weighted according to the naturally occurring abundances of the isotopes of the element. Let us understand this by taking the example of chlorine. Chlorine consists of a mixture of two isotopes of masses 35U and 37U in the ratio of 3 to 1, approximately, and the average comes out as 35.453U. For details, refer. Also, a very small amount of the total mass is converted to nuclear binding energy and the explanation for it is beyond the scope of this video. In the previous uploaded video we have learned how to memorize atomic mass of elements from their atomic numbers. Refer my YouTube channel, Easy Learning. Now, let us understand molecule, relative molecular mass and then how to calculate relative molecular mass. A molecule is a group of two or more atoms chemically bonded together in definite composition. It is the smallest unit of an element or a compound that is capable of independent existence and shows all the properties of that substance. Examples O2, diatomic molecule of oxygen, H2O, NH3, CO2 etc. Relative molecular mass. The relative molecular mass, or molecular weight, of an element or a compound is the number that represents how many times one molecule of the substance is heavier than one twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon 12. The relative molecular mass is obtained by adding together the relative atomic masses, or atomic weights, of all the various atoms present in a molecule. Now, let us learn to calculate relative molecular mass. Example, molecular mass of nitric acid, HNO3. The molecular mass of HNO3 equals 1 times the atomic mass of hydrogen plus 1 times the atomic mass of nitrogen plus 3 times the atomic mass of oxygen equals 1 times 1 plus 1 times 14 plus 3 times 16 equals 1 plus 14 plus 48 equals 63 u note for those substances whose constituent particles are ions we call it as formula unit mass for example sodium chloride has a formula unit nacl its formula unit mass equals 1 times the atomic mass of sodium plus 1 times the atomic mass of chlorine equals 1 times 23 plus 1 times 35.5 equals 23 plus 35.5 equals 58.5 u by the introduction of relative atomic mass scientists could calculate the mass of large molecules much more conveniently the molecular masses of proteins nucleic acids and other large polymers are often expressed with the units kilodaltons megadaltons etc. Mole concept. When elements and compounds take part in chemical reactions, it is their atoms and molecules that react with each other, and we get the numbers of their atoms and molecules from a balanced chemical equation. 2mg plus O2 gives 2mgO is a balanced equation. The above balanced equation indicates a Two atoms of magnesium combine with one molecule of oxygen to form two molecules of magnesium oxide, or we can say B, 48U of magnesium atoms, atomic mass of Mg is 24U, here two atoms of Mg, 2 times 24 equals 48U, and 32U of oxygen molecules, molecular mass of O2 is 32U combines to form 80U of magnesium oxide, here two molecules of MgO, 2 times, 24 plus 16, equals 80U. However, while carrying out a chemical reaction, it is convenient to measure out quantities that can be handled instead of counting the numbers of atoms and molecules. For practical purpose we require it in grams. Hence, 
a new unit mole was introduced. Mole, symbol, mole, is the SI unit in chemistry for measuring atoms or molecules or ions. The mole is the amount of substance that contains the same number of particles, atoms or molecules or ions, as there are atoms in exactly 12 grams of carbon-12. Mass of one mole of a substance is called its molar mass. One mole of atoms or molecules or ions, that is, molar mass, is that quantity in number having a mass equal to its atomic or molecular mass in grams. That is, the mass of one mole of a substance is equal to its relative atomic or molecular mass in grams. To get the mass of one mole of atoms or molecules of any substance, that is, molar mass, we have to just convert the unit of atomic mass or molecular mass from mu to g. In simple words, atomic mass or molecular mass expressed in grams is called mole. Molar mass of any substance, atoms or molecules, is also known as gram atomic mass or grand molecular mass. The unit mole provide a simple way of representing a large number of atoms or molecules. Also, the number of particles present in one mole of any substance is fixed and that is 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 called as Avogadro's constant, or Avogadro's number in honor of the Italian scientist, Amdeo Avogadro. The Avogadro constant 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 is defined as the number of atoms in exactly 12 grams of carbon-12. Examples let us calculate how much is one mole of carbon, C. Atomic mass of carbon is 12U. 12U implies 12 grams. Therefore, one mole of carbon is 12 grams of carbon or we can say. 12 grams of carbon is one mole of carbon and it contains. 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 atoms of carbon. Let us calculate how much is one mole of nitrogen gas, N2. Molecular mass of N2 is 2 times 14 equals 28U. 28U implies 28 grams. Therefore, one mole of nitrogen is 28 grams of nitrogen or we can say. 28 grams of nitrogen is one mole of nitrogen and it contains. 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 molecules of nitrogen. Let us calculate how much is one mole of water, H2O. Molecular mass of H2O is 2 plus 16 equals 18 U. 18 U implies 18 grams. Therefore, one mole of water is 18 grams of water or we can say. 18 grams of water is 1 mole of water and it contains 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 molecules of water. Now the other way. Suppose we take 36 grams of water in a beaker then it is 2 moles of water and this 2 moles or 36 grams of water will contain 2 times 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 equals 12.044 times 10 to the power 23 molecules of water. The molar mass of each element for the quantity shown above is 1 mole and each contains 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. Also, as 1 mole of sodium weighs 23.0 grams so 1 tenth of a mole of sodium weighs 23 divided by 10 equals 2.3 grams and contains 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 divided by 10 equals 6.022 times 10 to the power 22 atoms of sodium. Thus, from our previous example, in the chemical equation 2mg plus O2 gives 2mgO, 2 moles of magnesium atom react with 1 mole of oxygen molecule to give 2 moles of magnesium oxide molecules. This means that 2 times 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 magnesium atom react with 1 times 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 oxygen molecules to give 2 times 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 magnesium oxide molecules, 
or 48 grams of magnesium react with 32 grams of oxygen to give 80 grams of magnesium oxide. One mole of any particles, atoms or molecules or ions, equals relative mass of those particles in grams equals 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 atoms or molecules or ions. Conclusion, mole is a unit of substance, which contains 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 particles of that substance, and weighing in grams the relative atomic mass of the atom or relative molecular mass of the molecule of that substance. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos on physics, chemistry and mathematics. Check my YouTube channel, Easy Learning. Suggestions can be mailed at ag.easylearning at gmail.com.